together, always. Where you see one, you see the other. A family left in pieces after a tragic crash claims three lives, including a four-year-old boy. We're learning new information about those victims tonight as state police in Fayette County continue to investigate this. Channel 11's Kara Sapita has been talking to the victim's family. She joins us live with those heartbreaking details. Kara. David, good evening. Today, this four-year-old boy's mother told me she made the decision to donate her son's heart valve when she found out it was going to save another child's life, but saying she just wanted her little boy back. He was one of three people killed in this violent crash yesterday afternoon. Pictures from the scene of the crash are heartbreaking. A pickup truck, no match for a large triaxle dump truck when they collided on Route 21 in German Township yesterday afternoon, killing the three people inside of the pickup, including this four year old boy. Hunter Gibbs' parents say he just celebrated his birthday on Sunday. They tell Channel 11 the boy was always smiling and helping others, which is why they chose to donate his heart valve to save another child's life. Hunter was in the truck. With his mom's best friend, Kayla Burwell, and her dad, Ron, running errands. Kayla and Hunter were always together. Always. Where you see one, you see the other. Kayla's aunt, Janet McCormick, tells Channel 11 her niece just graduated from Albert Gallatin High School last year and was in the ROTC. She didn't deserve this at all. She's 20 years old. State police are still investigating the crash. They aren't releasing the name of the dump truck driver, but say he's a 46 year old man from Connellsville. Kayla's mother lost both her only child and her husband in an instant yesterday. Janet says both families are very close and suffering so much today. I'm trying to be strong for her. I'm trying. <laughs> And here at the state police barracks in Uniontown, the state police reconstruction team has been working now for two days to investigate this crash. Reporting live in Uniontown, I'm Kara Sapida, Channel 11 News.